Hey buddy, Quad Nine's back. I'm gonna have a quick um, cube update. Uh, not gonna go over all the cards I've added recently, just some of the sweeter pickups, and uh, just gonna get right to it. I uh, been I've decided to put uh, collector's edition or international edition Power Nine in my cube. Uh, one because it's insanely cheaper, uh, not super cheap, but ten times cheaper than actual Power, and it's black bordered. So there's that. So so far. Um, I picked up these five from the same cube. Uh, they've had the corners rounded, and they look very good. Um, so yeah, I've got Ancestral, Time Walk, Emerald, Pearl, and Jet. And then I picked this one up. Um, all these basically from Twitter, by the way. Uh, this one has not had the corners rounded yet. I may get that done soon. But uh, anyway, still got to get uh, the two big ones, uh, Sapphire and Black Lotus. I'm not going to add Time Twister. I mean, I've got days undoing. Um, I, I mean, I guess I could just for what nostalgia's sake, but yeah, I think once I get Sapphire and Black Lotus, I'll be okay with that. So, haven't actually put them in the cube yet um, because I don't. I kind of like having everything a little bit more even. Um, that makes it a little better right now. Um, going to get 15 cards from these stacks here and uh, make a quick cube pack. Let me see, just pick some off the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and get three from this stack. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So yeah, I'd shuffle those stacks up pretty well. So hopefully he's got a good array of cards to pick from, and we're just gonna see what what picks you all would like. Uh, okay, I've got Dragon Hunter, uh, Dismiss, a Johnny Vengeant, my favorite Planeswalkers to have, a uh, Counterspell, with my favorite art, uh, Starring Wildwood, uh, Garrett Primal Hunter, got a little Mana Fixing and Burnt Catacombs, Dig Through Time, a lot of pretty good blue cards in this pack, which you know kind of happens. Uh, Aetherling, uh, Raging Ravine, another man land. True Name Nemesis. Uh, ooh, card I've added more recently than some. Uh, Gray Merchant of Asphodel, and a super new card of the cube. Sky Sovereign Council Flagship. Uh, Paliana the High City, very good draft matters card, and an Elspeth uh, Knight Errant. Um, Really a strange pack, to be honest. A lot of good blue cards, a few pretty decent lands, and uh, an Elspeth, basically. I do like si Sky Sovereign. It keeps you open, but it is five mana, which my cube can be faster than that sometimes, as my one of my dogs eats dog food very loudly. Um, I do have the habit of going blue and then turning to Esper Super Friends, so either one of these would go great with that. Um... Or even a Johnny, for that matter. Johnny uh, does kind of put you in two colors pretty fast. Uh, without there being any real slam dunk, uh, definite first pick here, like a Soul Ring or a Library or something. Um, but I'm just going to go with Elspeth, just because it's a little different. What I Kind of different what I've been doing. You can go a lot of different decks. You can just do White Weenie or Green White Midrange, you know, Abzan, whatever. Um also, like I said, can go into a blue-white control deck. Um, so, yeah, I'm probably just going to go with Elspeth here. I, um, some other ones I might consider are True Name, uh, Grab Any Equipment, and it's a really fast clock. Uh, Counterspell, Dig Through Time. Wouldn't fault you playing those. Um, I actually wouldn't fault either Paliana or Verdant Catacombs, just to stay really open, get you a three-color land and some good fixing right off the bat. I'm not really interested in Dragon Hunter, um, not even Big Garrick. Uh... Probably not Aethling. There's a lot of blue finishers. Uh, I don't know. But yeah, so just let me know down below what you would like and what you thought of the pickups. Like I said, hopefully I'll get to have all the... Uh, I'll finish this set um, by GP Louisville, and we'll get to draft some pretty good cube games. So thanks for watching.